Good day guys, uh, my name is Ben and welcome to my channel. Um, I haven't done an update in a while. I've uh, been busy making something for myself. Um, I made a, a Game Boy console from Raspberry Pi. So it uses the Game Boy shell. I added those two extra buttons and the left and right shoulder buttons on the back. Um, now there there are many tutorials online on Game Boy Zero which uses Raspberry Pi Zero. I try to use the um, full Raspberry Pi 3. It's got a 4 core processor and 1 gig of RAM and it, it's slightly better at emulation um, than the Raspberry Pi Zero. This has been a, a difficult project uh, for a new starter like me. Um, few There are a few missing things um, like I wasn't able to implement a sliding power switch so I had to opt for a click button because the power supply that I end up ended up using is um, allows it, it allows for a power switch but it's like one click it's on and two clicks it's off sort of thing so I couldn't figure out how to use a um, sliding power switch um, I added a micro USB charger which works fine um, couldn't figure out what to do with this port here so that's empty at the moment it's looking ugly I haven't managed to put a battery inside yet uh, I'll this is one of the smartphone batteries that I've used but I'll have to order a battery that fits in here I removed all the USB ports and the LAN port from the Raspberry Pi 3 to make it a little bit slimmer I soldered through this uh, pin uh, with cables straight to the the board this allows me to connect a couple of USB ports um, this is one of those uh, USB ports that I can plug in straight up if I need to add a keyboard or something for debug debugging um, Apart from that, it's got a tiny speaker and a, and and a, and an amp, a little amp that sort of powers up. Um, a 3.5 inch composite screen. Yeah, it's not the not the best project in the world, but I sort of learned a lot while making this, and I hope you like this video. Um, I wasn't able to record the video while I was building uh, so what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna make another one using this yellow Game Boy shell that I have and maybe try and record a few steps and also try and fix some of the mistakes that I've made um, I also haven't added um, the volume so um, there, there is sound from the speaker but I can't adjust the volume um, but I've set it up to my liking and it's not too loud not to mute um, also this headphone jack that I've added it works um, so when uh, a headphone is plugged in the speaker turns off which is a great plus uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do that so this is what it looks like from inside as you can notice here I've removed the USB and LAN port it's a composite screen I'm using the Dinsey arcade uh, board uh, but I think you can find a similar ones on eBay for about 10 bucks all the controllers are wired up to GPIO um, speaker here headphone jack wired up to speaker and the 
uh, the power amp over here in this corner this is the USB power supply that I hooked up and that's the micro USB charger all right without further ado let's start it up and play a quick game pressing it once turns it on it runs through the Raspberry Pi script it's got a nice little boot animation video on it's pretty handy I've got a 16 GB card in at the moment the back is open I'll try and 3d print something that sort of fits in this area nicely and that way I can cover this area up right um, so it's got a, as I said it's got a 16 gig card in uh, the composite screen is great for um, 60 FPS that sort of stuff um, it looks like it's not a full resolution but I'm, I'm happy with uh, as you can see the black borders um, but I'm happy with with what I've got um, the image that I flashed in it sort of preloaded with a few games on it it's got PC Engine, uh, Nintendo, Neo Geo, Mega Drive, Master System, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Atari 2600 and Arcade and Super Nintendo and we're back to Retro Pi menu um, I'm just gonna run the standard game that I play every time that's one of my favorites All right so without further ado we're gonna start Super C I still consider this project as a work in progress until I finish um, a few things um, as you know by now any assimilation on Raspberry Pi is near perfect to my liking it's a little bit harder without the S power and game over right um, Try and play another game from Super Nintendo. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
chips. Ah, missed it. Right, so that's it for this uh, video. Uh, I'll try and do a tutorial, as I mentioned, uh, on how to make one of these, if you guys are interested. Until next time, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.